I'm Roxon Green, actor and extreme fisherman. I've spent the last four years travelling the globe, catching fish most anglers only dream of. Then I realised I've probably fished more places for more different species of fish than anyone else in the world. From South America... Oh, my Lord! ...to the South Pacific. That is unbelievable! And from teeming rivers... Look at this fish! ...to raging seas. Why not? Why not? I've hunted fish with some of the best in the world. <laughs> but now, I'm going to have to be better. Let battle commence. In my new fishing adventure, I'm travelling the world to battle the best... Oh, it's a monster! ...and win. 60... 7 to me! <laughs> Come on, you dumbasses. Every week, it's a different location with the same extreme challenge. Five rounds of competitive fishing against some of the best anglers that nation has to offer. I thought we had a relationship. I thought we were friends. No friends in war. To win, I'll need to catch the most... Revenge will be sweet, my friend. ...the biggest... You're going to be in trouble. ...and the best. That's extreme! I've already fished the world. This time, it's one Geordie against the world. So I better hope I've learned something. This <laughs> is extreme. Oh, my Lord. Fishing. <laughs> this week, I'm bringing my extreme fishing challenge to the Lone Star State, Texas. It's the second biggest US state, three times the size of the UK, and a hell of a lot bigger than little old me. It's Robson versus the Americas. Lord help us all. I've travelled nearly 5,000 miles for a mammoth fish-off against some of the best anglers this place has to offer. Welcome to Houston. And let's hope this time we don't have a problem. Here, they say, if it grows, it'll stick you, and if it crawls, it'll bite you. But after four years of fishing the globe, I'm here to try out a saying of my own. If it swims, I'll catch it. Everything may be bigger in Texas, but they don't scare me. You know the name Texas comes from the Native American word, Tasha, which simply means, hello, friend. But I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win. Oh, yeah. I certainly am. My competition begins two hours from Dallas. I'm on the Trinity River, more than 550 miles long, all of it in Texas. Here swims the second largest freshwater species in America, the alligator gar, a creature that looks as much reptile as fish. Even the birds seem scared. What an extraordinary sight. 10,000 house marks. Well, it takes a lot more to frighten me. Though this bloke looks ready to give it a try. My opponent today, Bubba Bedre. He's a gas specialist. He once helped bring in the world record to his boat. And I've heard he's got a Texan draw. But he doesn't like to overuse it. Baba Bedre. Baba Bedre. Robson Green. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Why do so many Texans go after this fish? They're big and hard to catch. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest you've seen? About 10 foot long. You, the biggest you've seen is 10 foot long? Mm -hmm. What's the biggest you've caught? Eight foot three. Eight foot three. And a kind of method today, is it, uh, or the alligator guy kind of skittish, easily scared? Yeah, the, you, you gotta be real quiet. Stealth-like. Stealth-like. Silent. Quietly. Okay. So that's Texan stealth. We might as well be firing a six-shooter. It's round one, and when we reach a fishing spot, we'll stop scaring the wildlife. We're after the alligator gar of the Trinity River. Whoever lands the biggest wins. To catch a monster, we need monster-sized bait. Do they have a delicacy around here, the alligator gar? Yeah. Have they certain pull show for something? Yeah, and I got it too. You got it too, have you? I know you have. You got that glint in your eye, boy. 
You really have. What are the fish around here like eating? Are you serious? It's a smelly chunk of carb to me, but to Agar, that's a juicy T-bone steak. How big are the mouths of these fish around here, for goodness sake? They're pretty big. The trick is to let the fish swallow the bait down before starting to reel it in. Move too soon and I'll lose it. Oh, oh we're, we're in, we're in. We've got an inquiry here. We have an inquiry. Yes, I can't believe it. Oh, yes. I can see gold already. There we go. You take it, my son. Go on, my son. I need to stay calm and let the beast on my line feed. It's just like that Jaws moment, isn't it? It's the Robert Shaw moment. Look at that. Come on. Fantastic. Watch and weep, Bubba. There's a new sheriff in town, and his name is Green. Oh, we got me a fish going. Have you? Yeah. Mine's going out. We got two. OK, I might still end up the deputy. Bubba's waiting, but I think my fish has well and truly swallowed the bait, and only one way to find out. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I've said it. It's it. Oh, I think he's come off. I really thought it would be. Has he come off? Sometimes he'll swim to you. Yeah. Yeah, he's still on. He's still on. And I do believe we have a big fish on here. Yes, Bubba. Get ready to see one massive oh. chunk of fish. Is he off? Oh, come on. That's the bait. Oh, shit. But it's just my bait. Well, I had him on for two minutes, and then he came off. Damn! And that gives Bubba an open goal. I think he's a pretty big fish. Well, if I get to see this fish, I don't mind going one down. Oh. God, no! <sighs> Bubba, no! He broke a 150-pound line. They broke the line. Oh, that was a monster. Oh. Bubba's line can reel in well over 10 stone. That could have been the winning fish. I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. How sad. Never mind. <laughs> Poor Bubba. I think he needs a little time out. Bubba. That's a fiendish disguise. A kind of confident exterior. But inside, he is hemorrhaging. He lost that fish. Lucky he's too polite to say what he's thinking. And he's not about to get any happier. With only minutes to go, suddenly, I'm in. I tell you what, I do not want to lose this. This will surely be the final hook of the day. It's my last chance to win. Absolutely shaken. Right, I'm setting the tension here. I'm setting the rod. We're going to fight this fish now, and he's away. He knows there's a fight on. Keep your pole bent. I want him to break it like he did mine. Just keeping the line tight, and just slowly applying the pressure, and let the runs tie the fish out. When you feel it pop like that, that's mm -hmm. that line going past his teeth. Is this? It's getting close. Is he going to give up again? Oh, he's more than 90 pounds. Here he comes. Please, please don't let me down. Oh, look at him. You are looking at the second largest freshwater fish in North America. Shit. I caught a monster. And it'll take both of us to land it. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Papa. <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's close to six and a half feet and nearly 150 pounds. They say everything's bigger in Texas, and that's one of the biggest catches of my life. Check out this shape here of the snout. That is an alligator's head. And check out the scales. The Native Americans 
used to use these scales as jewelry, as a token of love to their partner. Mind you, you must have to really fancy somebody to actually go this far to catch one of these for the sake of a bracelet. Don't worry, mate, I'll just buy a few souvenirs at the airport. This fella's made at Robson 1, Texas nil. As they say in Texas, I beat Bubba like a rented mule, but I won't rub it in. So, you know, I'll just keep quiet about the victory. win this thing. That's why I'm draped in the Northumbrian colours. Because all I have to do tomorrow is beat a bunch of kids. Easy. 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 Today, I'm after the most popular game fish in North America, the largemouth bass. I'm meeting my opponents at a military-built reservoir two hours from Houston. No, oh, no. They're not military, but they're in uniform. They look like the angling equivalent of the Power Rangers. Young they may be, but inexperienced they are not. These are the Aggie Anglers. They're a student team, part of the college bass fishing circuit. It's a training ground for professional bass fishermen, and I hear those guys can earn big bucks. You guys aspire to be professionals, yeah? Is there money to be made in bass fishing? There's quite a bit you can make. I mean, if you really are the top dog, um, you can make millions of dollars. Bass fishing is, is awesome. It's fun. It's artificial lures. And... These fish are extremely aggressive, so you just get massive strikes. You know, there's bass fishing tournaments, so you can be very competitive. Well, for our tournament, we're splitting into teams of two, and I'm with 23-year-old Tyler James. Sounds good. OK. Let's do it, guys. I've seen you've all got uniforms. <sighs> Gonna put my one on. You recognise that? I don't recognise that. What, what do you mean you don't it? recognise that? That's one of the greatest soccer strips in the world. We're, we're not big in soccer in Texas. Well, you've got to be. This is Newcastle upon Tyne. OK. The black and white stripes of the Geordies. It looks like a prison break. Does it? Jersey or something. Those stripes. Well, it looks like we broke out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. It's round two. We're after the most popular game fish in America, the largemouth bass. And we'll be following pro bass competition rules. We catch five fish per team. Heaviest catch wins. <laughs> Typical Texas, they found a way to combine fishing with Formula One. And it's all about speed today. Bass fishing needs quick reactions. They attack the line hard, and if you're not fast, they'll be off. But I've got what it takes. All right, lads, watch and learn. We're in. Oh, oh. God damn it, he was a keeper. He was a keeper. Oh, God damn it, Tyler. Oh, well, one little setback won't stop me. Rock. That was a rockfish. Well, it might. Oh, damn. Yeah, he was on. God damn it, we have nearly had our first one there, Tyler. You in? Tyler's in. Good lad. At least Junior here's picking up the slack. It's a good start. <laughs> There's the fish that most Americans, like Tyler here, go crazy about. He's the largemouth bass. Why is he called that? Check out the front end. He's in again. I'm glad we're a team, but I'm not sure he'd say the same at the minute. That's a keeper. That is a keeper. You win, man. Oh. That's three for Tyler. He must know how much we actors love being upstaged. That is the best one yet. I'm just being put to shame here by a toddler. But thank God for him, because the other teams are getting the fish in just as fast. There we go. That one will keep. They're all bloody good. No wonder they got tops like that. And no wonder I've got a top like this. But I didn't come 5,000 miles to bring shame on the black and white stripes. We're in. Please stay on. Please stay on, just for Tyler. Just to show him. 
I'm half decent. Yes, sir. Yes, kitchen. It's another keeper. That's a keeper. Oh, man, I'm so happy. There was a question mark, a big question mark over my head whether I was going to catch today. But I think that beautiful largemouth bass has answered a lot of questions today. Attack you. Stay on, baby. Stay on. And now there's no stopping me. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, That's, the one That's the one. He's the biggest one of the day. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He is a beauty. Look at the beautiful colours of that stunning largemouth bass. You couldn't have written it. You couldn't. It must be nearly three pounds. That's a good sized bass. And suddenly, we're in with a shot. A weigh in decides the winner. Ten pounds would be a good showing, but it may take more than that for victory. Oh, we're going to have a showdown. The other teams are weighing in first. We got 765. Not even eight pound. That won't be enough. But it looks like the second pair have done better. He's got two good sized bass in there. I think they're gonna be close. You think? 1248. 12.48. <laughs> that is a good haul. Your nerves rattling yet? Are you gonna win or not? Man, if this was for a million dollars, <laughs> I'd be breaking it. Could come down to answer. Big pros, it is. Yep. What was your weight? 1248. 1248. It'll be tough to beat. We tried hard. And we haven't. We're three pounds short. That's one whole bass. Five thousand miles! Oh. <laughs> hey, that was great. Congratulations, Weston. That was great. You guys are absolutely amazing. Well, we got second place, but nobody remembers silver. So the Texans draw level. It's Robson one, Texas one. You know what? I'd like to say it was close. <laughs> it wasn't, but I'd like to say it. <laughs> Who in their right mind gets up at 4.30 to go out to sea to catch a shrimp? That'll be these lads. Shrimp is the most popular seafood in the USA, and the Texas shrimping boats set out every morning to get them. I'm looking for one of the most famous fishing industries in Texas, and I can't find it. Pitch black. But if they'll hold the boat for me, my mission today is to best a shrimping boat captain. Morning, fellas. What I'm after? Ron, Ron Galloway. Right, that's me. Ron, Robson morning, Green. Rob. How you doing? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ronnie Jr. Ron You're Ronnie Jr. My opponent, Ron Galloway Jr. He's 20 years a shrimper. He's the third generation of his family on the water, and I've heard he got his sea legs early. His mum helped bring in the catch, even when she was pregnant. They're a tough bunch, these Texans. May the best shrimp I win. Today, Ron Jr.'s on his boat, and I'm on mine. Am I early or am I late? Well, to tell you the truth, you're 10 minutes late, but that's OK. Thankfully, it's captained by someone even more experienced, Ron's dad. Ron Senior. How's that? Do I look like one of the lads? You do. Do I look like a shrimper? You do this morning. <laughs> it's round three. We're half an hour from Houston and after America's favorite seafood, the shrimp. This is commercial fishing, so the winner is whoever gets most cash for their catch. So, Ron, what's the secret to being a good shrimper? Well, the main secret is just a lot of hard work. It's you, know, you got to be here, you know, at least six days a week and put in your hours and your time. But it's just a lot of hard work is the main thing. Ron Sr. has always sold shrimp to eat, but Ron Jr. now sells his as live fishing bait. Keeping the shrimp alive takes work, so he catches a lot less than his dad. But pound for pound, live shrimp bring in a lot more money. Never been on a shrimp boat, so I have no idea what to expect. Ron Sr. needs a lot more deckhands, because he deals with a lot more shrimp. 
Okay, throw it. In my extreme fishing adventures, I've learned on commercial boats from Canada to Japan. And today, I'll need to remember how to put in a hard day's graft. Now we're tripping. The first net's up. Shrimp will be in the bottom. I get you, sir. The fish will float to the top and swim to the top. Uh -huh. We try to keep all the fish alive that we can and get them back in the water so they live. And we need to sort the shrimp we can sell from the fish we put back. And this is the sheep head I was telling him about. That's a sheep head. Just like a sheep on there. It looks like a sheep. No, 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 no. That's, That's a, a beauty. Sheep. And he's black and white. It's a baby hammerhead shark. Oh, yeah. oh wow. These white shrimp have a really nasty horn on them. And that can give you a nasty sting. And the reason why you can fish these day after day and year after year is because one of these can lay up to one million eggs. I tell you what, I mean, I don't know if I could do this day after day. Well, I know I couldn't. But at the moment, it's quite fun. But we're not here to enjoy ourselves. Seems to me we're doing really well. The boys have got sort of concerned expressions on their faces. The only thing I'm concerned about is, are we beating that fella there in the distance? I'd love to know how you're doing. That's a big shrimp right there. That's what we're after. Not too badly, it seems. Well, this is a good catch, huh? I just need to keep my head down. Ow! I just got dug out stung by a shrimp. And that hurt. Oh, that's just, watch that rope, watch that rope, it's in between my legs. No matter what happens. Woo, nearly didn't have a sex life there, lads. Not the kind of tackle check I'm used to. Still, I'm sure my opponent's suffering as well. I love my dad, but my dad's old school. You don't keep a television on there. I don't even know if he's got a stereo. New school, old school. Next time, I might get new school a try. Oh, yeah. But after a full day's hard shrimping, hopefully the old school have done enough. That's one of the hardest days work I've ever done. Incredible. You will sleep good tonight. <laughs> Ron Senior's off to sell our catch, but Ron Junior's got his money in already. Okay, Ron Junior, come out, come out, wherever you are. What we got here? Well, we got some shrimp, which you've been digging through all day. I thought I'd cook some up. So tell me, did you get a good price? Please tell me it was a bad price. No, it wasn't a bad price. What did you get? Come on. It was about uh, seven hundred fifty dollars worth. Okay. So it was, it was, a, it was a good day. So if me and your dad can't beat seven hundred fifty dollars. What's that going to cost me? What's the forfeit if I lose? Mm -hmm. If you lose, uh -huh. you got to scrub down my dad's boat. Right. But okay. if you win, I'll scrub down my dad's boat. Well, you know what you want to be doing? You want to practice your scrubbing action? <laughs> you need because to you weren't on our boat. Brush. You weren't on our boat. Uh, we caught a whole lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, your dad wants me as part of his crew. Oh, really? Yeah, he's going to sack those two dudes. He said I'm a natural. <laughs> Where Ron Jr.'s in for a surprise. Hello. Hey, man. Hey, Dad. You didn't know the pellet roll on my shrimp and stuff? Well, Robson does. He, he's right here. Why don't you tell it to him? I'm here, Big Ron. I just need you to tell me the good news so I can put your lad out of his misery. Go on. Give it to me straight. Okay, the uh, big shrimp we had, the little shrimp and the crabs, all total, we had $474 worth. Could you say that again? $474 worth. That's $474? Yeah, 474 I'm just doing the math here. Yeah, so, oh, we've lost. <laughs> OK, well, I'll just go and get me brush. After all that graft, my reward? A bit more graft. Rob. Yes. You missed a spot. <laughs> or a little shrimp, it makes a big old mess. And it's put a dent into my scoreline as well. It's Robson 1, Texas 2. Frankly, I need a win. After a hard day, I could use a little quiet relaxation.
Texas style. Being a bit of a petrol head, someone told me there was drag racing on tonight. I thought, oh, that's a bit of me. But I've just discovered it's just locals who pay $10 and see how fast their cars will go. Ah, yes, not for the Texans, a quiet night in front of the telly. Don't, don't forget, this is a hobby. Let me see what's coming off. There's a false flag in Friedland. My money is on the one over there. <laughs> So the lesson, never underestimate the underdog. Texas is bonkers. And I'm about to find out just how bonkers. The weather's moved in and the sea is looking very angry here at High Island on the Texan coast. You know what, I've traveled 5,000 miles. I could be in Whitley Bay. Mind you, you couldn't catch a shark in Whitley Bay. But that's what I'm here to do. I'm taking on some Texans catching sharks the way they do it, from the shore. Either they're crazy or I am. Helping me today is Dick Radcliffe. He's been known to catch a hundred sharks from the beach in a year. That's a hundred more than me. And I'll need his help because the conditions today are wild. The odds are really stacked against us this morning, eh? Yeah, it is. Um, this is the worst I've seen it for a long time. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try it though. We're going to see what we can get into and see if we can get some fish on the line. My opponent today is Lou McEachin. And right, now, Lou, you look pretty handy. You good at casting? Uh, I've done it a time or two. Yeah, I've heard a, a vicious rumor you're world class. Uh, I've been to a couple world championships. Yeah? And uh, for an old man, I did all right. Yeah, yeah, don't let the mild-mannered Texan fool you. Lou is a man mountain. He's six times a US record holder for long distance casting. And I've heard he can cast a line the length of nearly three football pitches. But me and Dick can't. And we need a plan. Where do the actual sharks feed? They don't like the real, a lot of churning in closer, so they'll be out where the water's probably eight to 12 foot deep. So they'll be out just a little farther. So that's why I got to get out there a little farther. So the only way to get a bait out there really today is, is on this, kayak. is okay, kayak. Well, that makes sense. Kayaking into shark infested waters. I do it myself, but Dick's there already. So here we go, hunting shark off High Island, Texas. Biggest shark wins. But let's just hope everyone survives the day. That is one brave kayaker. Crazy, one of the two. He'll get the line out, but I'll be bringing the fish in. And I'll have an audience. Lou and Dick have brought their friends along to watch. Clearly in Texas, catching a shark is just a nice day at the beach. Where's he at? You see him? About 300 yards out there. Okay. Don't keep saying to me, where's he at? Because I think he's gone over, you say Well, that. I'm trying to keep an eye on my friend, that's all. <laughs> no, no, so I'm, I've got him, don't worry. <laughs> Dick's doing well out there. But no one shows up Lou. Look at big Lou. He doesn't need a kayak. He's just waded out into a force four and cast it about 150 yards. I ain't ever seen anything like that in my life. Clearly, these guys go all out to catch. I just hope Dick's dropped our line in a good spot. And he has. Oh. Well, I don't think it's a black tip shark, because I think that would have shown itself by now, because they kind of leap out the water when they fight. That's it, big guy. Watch and learn. 
I've got to reel this fish in nearly 1,000 feet, and I'm feeling every inch of it. You say? Uh, yeah, that's good. But I'm in my element. These guys turned out for a show, and I think in a minute I'll be taking a bow. Here it comes. There's someone on the end. Oh, fuck. First rule of acting, never disappoint your audience. What is that? That's a bait. Or something had a go at it. Uh, little shark, see, here, see the teeth marks here? Yeah, yeah. Probably 25 pound or better. 30 minutes of reeling in, back-breaking angling, for note. But that may be as close as I get. The conditions started off bad, but they're only getting worse. There's just one way to salvage this. First fish of any kind wins the day. And with me and Lou not doing too well, it's become a fishing free-for-all. You've got to give the people what they want, and clearly these guys want a result. And we don't have to wait long. Oh, you got a drum! It's not a shark, but it's barely less impressive. It's a black drum, a Texas speciality. Oh, man! And a cracking size. Look at that! Black drum. Black drum. That is a beautiful black drum. Congratulations. The winner, Andy Chapper, 13 years old. Can you believe it? Upstage by a teenage girl. <laughs> I can't go back to England, Andy. Yeah, Lou, you've nothing to smile about either. And that is a beautiful, I don't know, what do you reckon, 25 pounds, 30 pound drum? Lou didn't win, I didn't win. But Andy's a Texan, so I lose on a technicality. <laughs> I'd lodge a steward's inquiry, but there's too many of them to argue with. That's one to the Texans. God damn it. It's Robson versus Texas, and I'm getting a whooping. The score's Robson one, Texas three. I need a win, or I'll be leaving with my tail between my legs. But today won't be easy. I'll be sailing out towards the Gulf of Mexico oil rigs, and I'll be up against an all-American hero. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Robson. Good morning, Robson. You ready to catch some fish today? Yeah. You Joshua? Yeah. Joshua Davis. He's fished these waters for 20 years. He's also ex-Navy, a rescue diver, and a firefighter. He's as clean-cut American as a slice of apple pie. Today, I've got to beat Captain America, so I'll need all the strength I can muster. But I'm sure he's intimidated as well. Right, Joshua. Yes. You up for a fish fight today? I'm ready. And obviously, you've heard a lot about me and you've seen all my programs, yeah? Yeah, every one of them. Yeah. I, I haven't missed one. Oh, I like it. I, I, I like your taste in actors and fishermen. <laughs> yep, he's quaking. Today, our target is any fish from the rich waters of the Mexican Gulf. That could be drum, snapper, or even a shark. Biggest fish takes the day. OK, so when I get biggest fish, loser has to gut the winner's fish and watch the winner eat that fish. That sounds like a deal to me. OK. You'll be gutting some fish today. <laughs> yeah, I've got something up my sleeve. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> We're starting with a Texas treat, fishing the oil rigs. Well, that's quite an impressive backdrop. You've got enormous drilling rigs here. We're in dry dock for maintenance. And over here, you've got these rusting structures that have been mothballed. These rigs make their own little ecosystem. Smaller fish mingle around them, attracting the big predators. 
Down there, it's like a fishy nightclub. And I pulled. Yeah. I think we got our first fish, Joshua. Uh oh. Watch and weep. <laughs> Watch and weep. Oh. That's gonna be a crab. Get that big net. This ain't no crab. We just exploded with that lure. We got ourselves a catfish. All right. This is a uh, gaff top. It's a predator catfish. Can I just compare him with the size of the fish you've caught? Oh, sorry, you haven't, Joshua. <laughs> I'm giving you a handicap. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's Joshua. That's part of my hustle. Ah, yes, I've got him on the ropes. No friends in war. But he's coming out fighting. Oh, he's big. He's bigger. Damn it. Maybe I shouldn't wind him up. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh, I smelled glory. I really did. Very, it's a close run thing. No, it's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Josh has taken an early lead, but there's much bigger fish out there. Let's move. My best hope is that live bait will attract one of the larger predators in these waters. This could be dangerous. <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> Especially for my poor cameraman. Did you lose the fish? No. No, he's still on it. He's knocked out. He's he's like, he's, he's <laughs> I would want to be on TV. <laughs> poor fella. It's really femme rod so much. No. Is that all right there? That'll work. But now it's my turn to be stunned. There's Ooh, a fish. There's a real fish. A fish. Let go of that. Josh is in. That's bigger than any four-pound catfish, huh? <laughs> If he lands that, I think it'll be the biggest so far. Here he is, red drum. Oh, he's a beauty. Yeah. Oh, what a stunner. There he we is. Go. Beautiful. What Joshua has caught for you there, ladies and gentlemen, is a fine example of a red drum fish. It's many distinguishing features. Well, one of them is this marking on the caudal fin. This kind of eye here. And they reckon it's part of a defense mechanism that yes. predators believe that this, this is the, the eye. eye. Yes. And therefore, they attack this, and this fish can get away. What weight do you think you got there? Do you know what? I don't know why you asked that question. <laughs> I don't know why you asked that question. <laughs> I, I it's it's a hell of a lot bigger, bigger than the ones I've caught. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're good. That was a 20-pound fish. Well, let's catch another one. Our time on the water is nearly over, and I haven't even come close. Oh, what's that there? I think I've just seen a shark. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think I've just seen a big shark just here. And suddenly, I'm in with a chance. Yeah, yeah Joshua. Maybe you just swim into the boat. It ain't the bait. Something big is swimming towards the boat. Oh, you got something big on the end here. Oh, he's coming up. What we got? Shark. Small one. That isn't a small shark. That <laughs> is a big fish. Bigger than your red drum. <laughs> Just don't want to snap and get the net. Hey, you really got to get him in this time, too, because the yeah. eye is off that rod, and it's going to fray the line. So really work on getting him. You ready, Aaron? There he goes. Oh. And it's there. Whoa! An Atlantic sharp nose shark. A great catch, but smaller than Josh's drum. I'm not... Hey, 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 hey! Oh. But that oh. might not matter. Oh. Whatever this is, it feels bigger. Man, they really started going. We got something good on here. If I can get it to the boat, I think the day will be mine. Yeah. What we got? It's another one. Oh, another shark. He's a lot bigger. And we have a winner. All right. That's got to be the winner. Oh, yeah. Do you know what, Joshua? There was a World Cup, soccer World Cup, played in 1966. Uh -huh. And there was a famous quote at the end. The commentator said, they think it's all over. It is now. You saw it again. What you got there? It's a juvenile bull shark. That's Wayne. You're kind of going 22 pound there. I'll be eaten, and you've been beaten. <laughs>
there's catfish for dinner, and this fella's going back. Thanks to him, the final score is Robson 2, Texas 3. It's been a hell of a fight. I tangled with a Texan monster. Oh, my Lord. Come on. Come on. And battled for America's favourite fish. He's the biggest one of the day. <laughs> I've been injured in the line of duty. Just got doggone stung by a shrimp. And watched some crazy Texans risk their lives. He's just waded out into a forced fall. In the end, I may leave Texas a loser. Okay, Robson, I'm humbly uh, going to serve you your, your gourmet <laughs> top sale there. Beautiful. Your dad may have lost today, <laughs> but he's a fine cook. But I'm leaving Texas happy.